solving this problem, uh, what we're going to do here is um, use the quotient rule. So what we'll have here is we'll take the derivative of sine of x times cosine of x minus um, sine of x times the derivative of what's on the bottom. And then basically the bottom squared. So um, derivative of the sine of x is cosine of x times cosine of x minus um, sine of x times derivative of the cosine of x is minus sine of x all over cosine squared of x. So we get cosine squared x, and then this becomes plus sine squared x over cosine squared x. And here's where you gotta be careful. This is a, I mean, this technically is correct, but you gotta recognize that this is a trig identity, which is equal to one. So what we get is one over cosine squared x, and the same thing as uh, one over sec or one over cosine times one over cosine. It's the same thing as uh, secant times secant, which is just secant squared x. And that's it. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.